Hey GED students, this was a problem sent to me on Facebook. A student needed help and they were a little confused by a problem like this one. So the first thing I want to let you know is this thing is actually way simpler than it looks. It's made to intimidate you. Second thing I want you to know is I've never actually seen one like this on uh, the GED where it combines uh, graphs like this with area of a triangle, but it, it could happen because like I said, it's not as complicated as it looks. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the example said in the scale drawing below, one unit is equal to one meter. And what they mean by that is a unit on this graph. So like from here to here, would be one meter. And then they ask us, what is the area of the triangle? Well, good news. As soon as I saw that language, what is the area of the triangle? I got excited. I knew I could hit up the GED formula sheet. So you hit up the GED formula sheet anytime you have an area problem and you can pull out the appropriate area formula. So this is area of a triangle. So I look at the GED formula sheet and it says the area of a triangle is A or area is equal to one half times the base times the height. Now the student was a little confused, honestly. She was like, how do I get these numbers? Do I need to apply another formula? Do I need to do, do a distance formula? Do I need to do something with these points on the graph? And it's way easier than that. Let me show you what I mean. The key here is all about in knowing what the base and the height of a triangle are. So let's just make a little note to ourselves in case you didn't know this, but the base of the triangle is always a side. Now you might say which side, and that actually depends. It depends on your height, okay? It's the side that's perpendicular to the height. So the height is perpendicular to the base, and it goes from the base to that point of the, of the triangle. So basically, you're looking for perpendicularity. So notice, I'm going to show you what I see here. I see that there's a side, and from there, I can go perpendicularly at a nice right angle up to the point. So that would be the height. They're at a beautiful nice right angle, and we know that for sure because of the way our, our graph is. Okay, so here's my base, always a side, and here's my height. And you might say, Kate, I still don't know how long those are. And I say, yes, you do. It's on a graph so you can count it. So let's go see ahead and see how long the base is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six units long. I can plug in a six for my B. <clears throat> and now you might say, well, Kate, can I always just count it like this? Well, this one's actually really simple. Like I said, it's much simpler than it looks. I can count it like that because that base is sitting nice and flat uh, on those on that line there. And then I can do the same thing with the height. It's up on that vertical line. I can just count it one, two, three units. So my height is three units. Now I can plug those numbers into my formula and it's easy as can be. So A is equal to one half times the base. We said the base was six and then times the height. When things are shoved together, they're multiplying. So I times that by three. And you can simplify this by hand or you could just pick up your TI and type the entire one half times six times three in there. But it's fairly simple uh, to do by hand, so I will. A half of six is three, and if I multiply three by three, I get just nine. And now, of course, the question is nine what? Well, that's where this comes in. It says in the scale drawing below, one unit is equal to one meter. That means this was the height was three meters, the base was six meters, so my area is gonna be nine square meters. Remember, area is always, always, always measured in square units. Final answer there is nine square meters. That graph and those points were kind of just there as extra information to psych you out. I hope that you did not get intimidated. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.